Yeah, I'll just like stabilize that. Hit the, I... Hit the starter. Oh shit. I didn't realize it. Oh no. Oh. This thing is nuts. <laughs> it's actually a lot nicer when you sit in it. Because you don't have to like look at it. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know anything about it. You want to talk about it? Sure. So it is a whole set HX35 powered uh, V235HR. And uh, V-mount and... Uh, Pretty much that's it. No intercooler. And uh, 290,000 miles in the water. Never been <laughs> You just say, fuck it. Yeah, no need. Yeah, yeah. And this is all it just. It drops the compression when you put miles on it. Just like the compression is like boost, boost levels. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all made in house. Yeah. You just yeah. did all this by yourself. Just... Yeah. just bored enough to rip my cars apart. And... <laughs> I'm not driving for a year. Wow. You ever got a dyno or anything? Not yet. My tuner doesn't like to tune cars in open loop. So we're working on getting the car back in closed loop now. It doesn't have any factory braking system at all on the entire car, so um, which means no ABS module, no CAN bus controllers or anything like that. So the ECU just refuses to let it you know, be normal. This thing is nuts. And ground's kind of wet. A little scared right now. <laughs> I was following this car on Instagram, watching him build it. And he said he's going to twin turbo it and have two large turbos. And I was like, this is going to be interesting. And he's doing everything in house, you know, everything in his garage. And it's done. He did it. And it drives. <laughs> it's crazy. So, push this switch forward and then hit the start button. It was, oh, gotta jump it. <laughs> I, I, this time I, I brought the jump box. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the switch off? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Only the fronts were. The clutch is like way at the top, too. Yep. And then up this hill, you can get on it because there's no stops or three ways left after right. this. <laughs> it's right away. Yeah. As soon as it kicks, it goes. Yeah, he's gone. We got it to hook up last night. We did a burnout, got him real fucking hot, and then got it to hook up, and then the clutch slipped like a motherfucker. Okay. Oh, okay, sometimes it wants to die while it's stopping, so you can use this to help you stop while you're kind of giving it throttle, keeping it alive. It's just a base. It's the technique right I'm there. It out now. <laughs> it's like a, uh, it's like airplane controls. You got like all kinds of fucking levers and shit that you got to be pulling. How long have you been welding? Cause you're really good at it. Uh, it's probably eight years now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think eight years. Yeah. You did the craziest weld I've seen. 
Uh, too bad none of them are on this car. <laughs> yeah, I'll just like stabilize that. Hit that. Hit the starter. Oh shit. I didn't realize it. Oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit. Ready? Stop. Stop it again. And then let me. All right. Let me die. All right. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, guys, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got to feel it. Yeah, it definitely. We gonna have to do good. a follow up though. Yeah. Now I'll drive it again. I love how it reacted. 
in the engine. Yeah. It's got kind of like the response is really, really good. Appreciate the adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you at least got the, yeah, yeah. you got on it a few yeah. times. I, yeah, I, I got to experience it at yeah. least, but I'll definitely be back. I, I want to drive this again. This is going to be dope. Well, I guess next time you'll drive it, it'll probably be making almost twice the power that it's making now, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we'll definitely have to do that and try. And I'll, I'll, I'll put some, I got some bigger tires right there. Some All right. 275 far come down. That'll be a lot. All right. Gotcha. All right. Perfect. So these are the sample pieces for the contract we got coming up. So I've just been running just a few different settings on them. Mm -hmm. Trying to see what works and what don't. Is that what is it? That's aluminum. Damn. That's really hard to weld too. Isn't yep. It? Uh, one of the hardest materials to weld, but it's my specialty, so hopefully I would do. This is this is a nice aluminum part that I did for here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sick. So that's just the whole book. So right, that's a, a week right there. They start as these pieces are this long, right? mm -hmm. and you gotta hand feed them in there. Practice a lot, man. <laughs> Mm. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. I appreciate you coming by. No problem. I will oh. definitely be back. Yeah. For round two. Yeah. I might come. I might come out there you know, next yeah. time. Just so uh, before uh, you drive out here, we know the car works. Yeah. <laughs> that that way. All right. It made it here, so you yeah. should be able to at least get that amount of time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. All right, guys. That's it. We're gonna definitely drive that car again. But man, that was fun. That was a fun adventure. I'm so glad that car runs. Y'all stay tuned and um, definitely go check out his Instagram and you can follow the build. And if you need any welding, he's the man. Like seriously, I'm not making this up. He's excellent. And that's what caught my attention. And then he started building G37's twin turbo. I'm like, wow. So definitely keep in touch with Hunter. Take care. <laughs> you too. Take care.